What's poppin' YouTube? I'm Chris and today I'm coming at you guys with a reaction to another segment from Dr. Phil. Now when it comes to shows like Maury and Jerry Springer, those kinds of shows have some crazy storylines and Dr. Phil is a show that has some of the most interesting people on television. Of course, everybody knows Bad Baby got her start on Dr. Phil for a while and out on there, Acker Ratchet. Um, and there's been a lot of other people there who have done some crazy things. If you haven't seen any of the other Dr. Phil segments I've done on my channel, be sure you guys go check those ones out. But before we get into it, be sure you guys smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload. So let's just hop right into it. So here we are, this one is called, Man Has Spent $150,000 on Numerous Surgeries, Can't Feel His Face, all to look like his K-pop idol. This should definitely be an interesting one. Let's see what we got. I'm doing everything I can to look like Jimin, to have his skin, to have his facial structure, to have everything. My ultimate goal is to look like Jimin, my idol from BTS. I spent about $150,000 to perfect my image. I can tell you right now, you may be trying to look like him, but you definitely are not as musically talented as him. When you look at Jimin, you can just instantly fall in love. His lips just look so luscious and kissable. Just on my lips alone, I get them injected every three weeks. Over okay. the years, my lips would be $20,000. I've had my jawbone completely shaved down. I have my chin bone shaved, cut off, and reattached. I've got titanium screws and brackets to keep my chin in place. I had my eyes done, but now I want to change that to make my eyes more almond shaped, just like Jimin. I also have my cheekbone reduced. I've also been perfecting my nose. My nose, I've actually had surgery five times. So your doctor really puts you under, cuts you open, and then starts chiseling you away like it's a Michelangelo marble statue. And you're happy about that? Like, you're really ruining your bones and your face doing all that. I've had so many procedures. Like, my whole face is numb, but I love it. It's such a great feeling. My chin, I can't even feel. I can just feel the metal inside my face. My cheeks, I have no feeling at all. So when I smile, it actually feels uncomfortable. So doing this, it's, it's, it's weird. If I'm, like, kissing my cardboard Jimin or kissing one of my Jimin pillows, like, I can't feel anything. It's terrible. I actually love being in recovery. I love lying in bed with bandages. What? I'm always at my happiest at that time. And then, then after about two months or something, that, you know, great feeling of, wow, I love my new face kind of wears off, and then I'm always thinking about the next thing. If I have the eyebrow lift, it'll make He... He can't feel anything in his face. He can't feel it when he kisses a cardboard cutout. And his favorite feeling is when he wakes up from an operation. This dude definitely has issues. My face very tight, so I won't have any expression, and I'll just look, you know, plastic fantastic. I need to change everything until I'm identical. Well, Lee has undergone 15 surgeries in six years. 15? To change his looks. Now, something that he was bullied for growing up. When I was growing up as a teenager, I really struggled with the way I looked. I used to have very, very bad acne. I had such a big nose, my face was so round, it looked horrible. You look when I would go to school, I would get... What's, what's wrong with that, bro? You look like a normal white teenager. Like, there's... You lit, walk into Walmart, and you'll find six of that dude. Like, what's wrong with the way he teased, looks? I would get bullied. Whenever I was dating someone, they would always cheat on me or reject me. And I always thought that was just the way I looked. So I thought, okay, I have to change that. Since I started having surgeries, I'm a totally different person. I used to be a shy, insecure boy next door. Such anxiety. Now I'm super confident. I can get on stage and sing my songs. I can perform. That's why I think plastic surgery can be a great thing because, you know, it can change your life. Okay, what is it that is so bad about you that you feel like you need to be somebody else? And you have to know that the somebody else that you're wanting to be is not really who that person appears to be. That's a manufactured, marketed image. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've been unhappy since I was a teenager. You know, I used to get teased at school. I used to get bullied. And 
I moved to Korea in 2013 and I fell in love with K-pop, fell in love with BTS, but it was Jimin in particular that became my absolute obsession. So I don't know, I've just never been happy with the way I looked. I was always insecure. So I thought, let me change myself. And now, you know, it's given me so much happiness, but I've, I've put myself through a lot of risks and I do admit that. But you're wanting to be a um, clone or a replica of someone else, which is an insult to you. No, yeah. I think it's a tribute to Jimin, actually. You know, right. it's showing my appreciation for Jimin because I'm so in love with him, I'm so obsessed. So it's my appreciation for Jimin. So it's, I don't think it reflects badly. I'm not losing my, who I am, I'm still. Do y'all think Jimin has ever seen this? Like, do you, do, does he know that there's somebody out there getting plastic surgery, spent hundreds of thousand dollars to get his face chiseled down to look exactly like him? If I were in that situation and I found somebody was doing plastic surgery to look like me, I would be very uncomfortable. I'd feel very awkward and I'd be very creeped out. So I don't doubt that this dude feels the same way. Still the same person underneath. Well, you no, you're not. You're, uh, you're dressed like him. Right, you right. You're wearing silver, you're yeah, wearing this silver. Is this similar. is the new look, right? This is my new look, the blonde hair, the plastic surgery, and I'm, I'm happy. Like, if you look at the pictures of me and Jimin, it's we're identical. Where? You're identical where? Like, you... Jimin? Jimin is like Gucci? And you are like Walmart. Like you're the like a Chinese ripoff sweatshop, like fake, like you don't look anything like Jimin. Uh minus I guess the hairstyle, maybe, but you just look like a dude who got way too much plastic surgery. No, it's true. It's true. When I was in Korea, everyone calls me Jimin when I'm walking down the street. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's Jimin, Jimin. Like everyone, they think I'm Jimin. I don't believe and that. I, I, know, I'm, I know I'm identical. I don't believe don't that. Don't you want people to walk down the street and say, oh, that's Ollie, I love his music. No, I love it when they say Jimin. Like, trust me, it makes me feel so good because I know I've done a good job with the surgery. I know I've got the look perfected. When everyone calls me Jimin, I'm, I'm happy. Really? You're looking at me as if I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're clinically insane. I didn't say that, but... <sighs> Dude. That dude's got some issues, bro. Kids, don't ever be this man. Don't ever get $150,000 worth of plastic surgery to look like a K-pop star. Trust me, it's not worth it. When that dude turns like 40 and he starts getting wrinkles, he's going to look very, very weird. Now, when it comes to plastic surgery in general, I don't really have an issue with it. If you want to, you know, fix up your nose get some lip fillers, whatever, that's fine, but if you are trying to make yourself look like another human being, I feel like that's a big issue, because at the end of the day, there's only one Jimin in the world, and this dude is trying to become the second Jimin, and I just feel like that's disrespectful to the real Jimin, because he can't even just be the, the one because there's this other crazy dude trying to be just like him. But that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this dude down in the comments below. And let me know if you would ever do $150,000 worth of plastic surgery to become a BTS member. Don't forget to spank the like and subscribe button. Ring the bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.